Uh, today's practice, we're really focusing a lot on hip opening, uh, kind of getting into those nice juicy decent poses. We do a lot of lizard lunges and cat cow lizard lunges. So if you have blocks at home um, or a water bottle or anything that you can use for support, that might be helpful to get set up towards the top of your mat. But if not, that's okay too. I'll offer modifications assuming that you don't. As we go through our practice, just a heads up, I will be moving kind of around my mat just to continue to face towards you through the poses so you'll have a better guide. But just listen to my cueing if that works for you. If you get confused, you could always look at the video. So with that, let's get started in a child's pose. Bring your knees out wide onto your mat and sink your hips back towards your heels. Lengthening your arms forward, start to melt your head down towards the mat. And as you settle into this familiar shape, grounding yourself into the earth, taking a couple rounds of breath through the good side. If it's comfortable, right eye triggers the close. Maybe gently rock the forehead side to side. Massage it up with your inner circle. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Feel the back body saturate with breath. Feel a little lift of the rib cage up off the thighs. And exhale, big sigh. Let it be audible. Exhale, release. Again, like that long, deep inhale through the nose. Let this breath be even bigger than the last. Maybe slightly walking your fingertips forward. And exhale, press into your hands, hips back towards your heels, big open mouth sigh. One more time, inhale, fill up, biggest breath yet of your day. Exhale to release. Gently pressing your lips into touch. Find a gentle constriction in the muscles in the back of the throat. Starting to engage into your Ujjayi Pranayama, this is your breath of practice, your breath of victory and abundance. Allowing your breath to stay audible as you breathe in and out of your mouth. A reminder that this is your practice. Feel free to take a child's pose whenever you need or pause me on the screen and take a break. Listen to your body, be kind to yourself, and move with self-care, move with compassion and awareness. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice, anything that you would like to dedicate your movement to. Use that as your focal point to keep you grounded and present throughout the next 60 minutes. When you feel ready to move, come up to a tabletop pose. Stack your palms underneath your shoulders. Knees come underneath your hips. All ten fingers are spread wide onto the mat. Neck is long, gaze is down. Really pressing those palms. Find a little lift up and out of the shoulder girdle. And then on your next inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, and let's do the gaze child pose. Exhale to press the mat away, chin to chest, doming through the spine. Inhale as the return to your cow. Drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, round the spine. A couple more times, your breath, your movement. Feel free to add any additional movement that feels good. Sway the hips from side to side. Maybe bend the elbows. Maybe even turn the hands around to face towards you and find a little stretch into the forearms. Waking up through the wrists. Take three more cycles of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. spine, pause for a moment there, and lengthen your right leg back behind you, keep your toes dialed down to the earth, and start to gently rock forward and back. You're stretching out through the back side of that right leg, and starting to wake up the wrist. Gaze is still down, nice and long through the neck. Maybe you turn and gaze towards the right, and come back through center and gaze towards the left. And coming back through center, pause when you arrive, start to lengthen that right leg up, bringing your heel in line with your hip, either pointing through those right toes or flexing them down towards the earth. Lengthen your left arm out, thumb will face up towards the ceiling. As you inhale, draw the belly button towards the spine, strengthen through the core. Exhale, knee to elbow, curl it in. Inhale, reach it long, full extension. Exhale, curl, knee to elbow. One more time, inhale to lengthen up. Exhale, curl, knee to elbow, pausing here for three. Drawing everything in towards your center for two. And one, inhale to extend that right leg out long and then return your left palm to the earth. Draw your right foot out, toes are dialed towards the front of your space. Start to walk your hands up as you rise up into a gate pose. Outstretch your arms on the horizon. With your next inhale, big side body stretch over that right extended leg. And draw your hands back towards the horizon. Left hand plants right arm towards the sky, modified side plank. We'll move through that 
a couple times. Inhale, arms to the horizon. Exhale, side body stretch up and over. Inhale, return to the horizon. Exhale, side plank. One more time. Inhale to rise up, arms outstretched. Side body stretch, hold this time in that nice gate pose. Really actively press into the outer edge of your right foot. Try to lift up and out of that right foot. Couple more rounds of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, return the arms to the horizon. Float that left hand back to the earth, returning to your modified side pose. Option to stay right here, or maybe lift your leg up, coming into a half moon variation. Option to stay right here, or sugar cane variation, bend that back leg in half, reach behind you with your right hand to capture towards your right foot. Spiraling the heart open, maybe shift your gaze up towards whatever is above you. Inhale. And exhale. Start to release that right leg if you have it. Returning the right foot to the mat. Inhale as you rise up, gate pose. Exhale, hands come down to the earth. Tuck your left toes under, find a cow spine, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And then exhale, round it back for your modified child's pose. Melt your heart down towards the mat, outstretch your fingertips long in front of you. Really extending the weight up through that left sole of the foot and into that right inner groin area. Two more rounds of breath here, inhale. And exhale. One more round, inhale. And exhale. Start to rock back up onto the palm. Return to your tabletop pose. Swing your right knee under to meet your left. A round of cat cow here to neutralize. Let that side go. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, press chin to chest, round through the spine. Come back to your strong neutral spine. Re-engage the core. Belly button draw left and in. And extend your left leg back behind you. Toes stay connected with the earth to begin as you find that gentle rock forward and back. Just stretching out through the back side of that left leg. Maybe you turn and gaze back towards the left. And then gaze back to center, over to the right. Coming back through center, pausing there, start to lengthen your left leg up. Bringing your heel in line with your hip, either pointing those left toes back behind you or flexing your toes towards the earth. Your next inhale is the extension of your right arm forward, thumb faces up towards the ceiling. Inhale to lengthen and extend, exhale to curl, knees to elbow. Inhale to reach up long, exhale, curl it. One more time, inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, knee to elbow, pausing there, drawing everything in towards your center line, contracting into your core, navel draws up and in, one more big inhale. Exhale, send it out long. Return your right palm to the earth, bring your left foot out to the side. Dial your left toes forward, and then start to walk your hands back, rising up, outstretch your arms on the horizon. And as you exhale, side body stretch, left arm extends down, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale, arms to the horizon. Exhale, right hand to the earth, left arm towards the sky. Couple times, inhale, rise up. Exhale, up and over, side body stretch. Inhale, return the arms to the horizon. Exhale, right hand to the earth, left arm to the sky. Last time, inhale, lift you up. Exhale, side body stretch, pausing there. Getting into that right side body, feeling the intercostal muscles stretch. Arm is right, is right arm is lifted up high, maybe gaze is up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, return your arms to the horizon and then plant that right palm down, left arm extends up, returning to your modified side plank. You have the option to stay right here, or maybe it's a modified half moon, bringing that left leg up. Left foot is flexed, left heel and hip are in the same plane of energy. Option to stay right here, or modified sugar cane, bend that left leg in half, reach behind you to capture towards the left foot. Spiraling the heart open, rolling that left shoulder back, squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. Maybe you lift the gaze towards your ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, gently release that left foot if you have it, plant it back down to the mat. Inhale to rise, arms to the horizon. Exhale, hands come down to the earth. Tuck those right toes under, find a cow spine, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, press it back, modify child's pose. Melt your heart, your forehead down towards the earth. Breathe into that right sole of the foot. Really actively press into the outer edge of your left foot, getting a little deeper into that inner thigh stretch. Next inhale, start to rock back up. Return to your tabletop pose, left knee slides underneath your hip. Inhale, drop the belly, cow pose. Exhale, press chin to chest, rounding through your chest. Inhale, return to your neutral spine. Tuck your toes and start to hug your knees just an inch 
out of here. Starting to build a little fire into the core, drawing the navel up and in, squeezing into the pelvic floor, and then draw the belly button towards the spine, engaging into Uddiyana Bandha, or your upward flying lock. So really start to feel that fire start to build in the core. Inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath here. Inhale. Exhale, rise the hips down, downward facing dog. Finding some movement here, pedal up through your feet. Stretch out through the back of the legs, shimmy the hips a little from side to side. Take in little movements, your rituals that you have to acquaint yourself with the shape for today's practice. After a couple rounds of breath and movement, finding stillness in your downward facing dog. Really press into all four corners of your palms, press into your index and thumb. Heels energetically draw towards the earth, lengthening through the back side of your legs. Sliding your feet out to the edges of your space and start to walk your hands back about six inches, just shortening the distance between your hands and feet, still staying in that downward facing dog shape. Now take your right hand, switch back for your left calf or your left ankle, maybe to the outside of that left foot, wherever it's accessible. Really root into that left palm, then maybe shine your gaze up underneath your left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Return your right palm to root into the earth and switch out sides, left hand reaches back for that right leg, either onto the outside of your calf, your ankle, maybe to the foot or to the knee. Spiral the gaze up underneath your right shoulder, inhale, and exhale. Return that left palm towards the earth, so then start, start to walk your hands back between your feet, coming into a modified wide leg forward fold at the back of your space. We're going to grab our opposite elbows here and release them to a ragdoll. Find some movement, sway out from side to side, maybe bend one knee in the other. Really try to let the weight of your head go towards the earth, contraction of the spine. Maybe you draw some big figure eights here with the arms, tick tock in the body from side to side like a little pendulum swing. Then settling back into center, release your hands down to the mat. Start to turn the heels slightly and sink the hips low, Balasana Yogi squat, prayer hands to heart center. We're going to warm up those thighs here as you inhale, turn your toes in, release the crown of the head, wide-legged forward fold. Exhale, heels go out, sink the hips low, hands to heart, lengthen crown of head high. A couple more times like that, inhale, send your hips high, release the head down, exhale, Balasana Yogi squat. Two more times, inhale, hips to the sky, exhale, sink it low. Last time, inhale, rise. Exhale, Malasana Yogi Squat. Inhale as you rise to your wide legged forward fold, release there. Start to heel toe your feet at about hip width distance apart. Then find a halfway lift on your next inhale. Extend the crown of the head forward, gazes down. Pull the shoulders back and draw the navel up and in. Exhale, reach forward. Two more just like that. Inhale to halfway lift, lengthen out. Exhale to fold, soften and release. One more time. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands forward, come into a high plank pose. Couple rounds of breath here, first high plank of practice. Shoulders are stacking over your wrists, heels are energetically drawing back, stacking over those toes. Belly button draws up and in, it's a slight tap of the tailbone to lengthen the spine. Gaze is down, neck is long, one more inhale. Exhale, slowly release all the way down, drop your knees for support if needed. Or just release all the way down to the mat, hugging up both knees tight. Tops of the feet release to the earth. Hands come back by your floating wrists. Little cenobia in your hands. With your inhale, start to peel the chest up, baby fold up. Keep the neck long, gazing down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. Exhale, release up down. Two more times. Inhale to rise it up. Exhale, soften and release. Last time, inhale, baby cobra, press into the top of the feet, activate the kneecaps. Exhale, fold, release back down. Tuck your toes, and then send your hips back, tuck toe child pose. The toes are tucked, the hips are sinking back, and the arms are outstretched forward. On your next inhale, press off the balls of the feet, high plank pose. Then as you exhale, bring the tops of the feet to the mat, pull the heart to your upward facing dog, roll the shoulders back. Press into the palms, slight like micro bend into the elbows. Downward facing dog, send your hips to the sky. Inhale and exhale. Keep your right leg high, three legged down dog. As you exhale, it's a lizard lunge, right foot steps to the outside of your right hand. From here, start to walk your hands over towards the left side of your space, touch your fingertips, and then start to move the hips here. Kind of stirring in one direction. 
chin and then the other. Two more rounds of breath. Walking your hands back in, coming into your lizard lunge. And send that right leg high to the sky, three-legged down dog. Bend your right knee, stack right hip open on top of left. Circle up your knee, your ankle. Invite in some movement and counter stretch into that hip. And downward facing dog, right foot meets your left. Inhale, stretch your left leg high. Exhale, lizard lunge, left foot to the outside of your left ear. This time, start to walk your hands over towards the right and stir the hips. Circling out one direction and the other. Let's blossom into that left hip. And walking your hands back to the center of your mat. Send that left leg high, three-legged down dog. Bend your left knee, stack left hip, open on top of right, and start to circle it up. Opening up in your scorpion down dog, counter stretching through your hips. Settle your left foot back to meet your right. And drop your knees, tuck toe child pose, bend the hips back. Inhale, press off the balls of the feet, high plank pose. Exhale, upward facing dog, roll to the tops of the feet, shine the heart through. Downward facing dog, send the hips to the sky. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, return to that lizard lunge, right foot to the outside of your right hand. This time we'll tent up on the fingertips or maybe invite a block or a water bottle for support as we move through some cat cow lizard lunges. Inhale as you melt the hips down. Exhale, glide the hips back, straighten and fold. Inhale, return to that low D cow lizard. Let the belly and the hips melt. Exhale, cat lizard. Dome the spine, release the forehead to earth. Couple more times, your breath, your movement. You might linger in one of these poses, enjoy an extra couple rounds of breath in that hamstring stretch or hip opener, whatever you need. Next time you return to your lizard lunge, set your prop aside if you're using them. Hands return to the earth. Downward facing dog, right foot meets your left. Drop your knees, tuck toe child pose, send the hips back. Inhale forward, high plank. This time, either chaturanga or straight to upward facing dog. We'll all need that upward facing rise the heart. Down dog, send the hips to the sky. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale, left leg rises, three-legged down dog. Exhale, lizard lunge, left foot to the outside aspect of that left hand. Tending onto your fingertips, cat cow lizard lunges. Inhale, lift the gaze, melt the hips. Exhale, glide the hips back, forehead towards the earth. Inhale, return to that low deep cow lizard. Exhale, cat lizard, release it back. A couple more times, your breath, your movement. Feel free to linger wherever feels good. Letting your breath stay loud, letting it be expansive. The next time you return to that lizard lunge, plant your palms into the mat. Left foot meets your right, downward facing dog. Drop the knees, tuck toe child pose, send the hips back. Inhale, shoot it forward, high plank pose. Exhale, either chaturanga, come down halfway or straight to that upward facing dog. Shine the heart, inhale. Down dog, hips to the sky, exhale. Three big rounds of breath and down dog, inhale. Let it go, exhale. Breath in. And breath out. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Let's start to layer on. Inhale, sweep that right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, look forward as you tap forward. Inhale, send that right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. One more time, inhale to lengthen out. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, pausing there for three. Looking forward for two. Lizard lunge in one, set that right foot to the outside of your right hand. One time, cat cow lizard lunge. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, glide the hips back. Inhale, return to your lizard lunge. Exhale, pivot to a wide legged forward fold. Dial all ten toes to the left, long edge of your mat. Sink the crown of the head down and release. Breath in and breath out. Start to walk your hands forward, coming into a 
wide-legged downward facing dog, melt the heart down, fingertip outstretched, inhale, and exhale. Walk your hands back at your knees if you need. Find a halfway lift of your inhale breath. Exhale to fold and soften and let go. Root through your feet as you rise your arms up. High plane warrior. Circle sweep the palms together. Tuck overhead. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Dial your right toes forward. Sink into that right knee. Arms are out long outstretched on the horizon. Maybe you take a little bend and straighten here until you find that place to settle. Take a moment here to just acknowledge the details of your pose, and then really come back to focusing in on your breath. It is okay if this warrior two doesn't look perfect. Our focal point here are those inhales and exhales. Maybe you go a little bit deeper into that bend, or maybe you release it. Maybe that's what you need, a little gentler warrior two. We'll invite some movement with sun breaths. As you inhale, straighten out your right leg, gather your palms to touch overhead. Exhale, warrior two, bend it back down. Inhale, rise it up, high plank. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale to lift. Exhale, warrior two is where we'll meet. Flip your right palm towards the ceiling, tip it up and back for peaceful warrior. Gently stretching that right knee forward, left hand will fail your back leg, or maybe you catch a half bind, left hand to right hip crease. One more inhale breath as you expand open. Exhale, partly your hands down, bring out your front foot. Downward facing dog. Drop the knees to the earth, tuck toe child pose, sink the hips back. Inhale forward, high plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga or skip it and go directly to your upward facing dog. Down dog is where we'll meet, bend the hips to the sky. Breath in and breath out. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Left knee, left tricep, exhale, gaze forward. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, tap knee to tricep. One more time, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee to tricep, pausing there for three. Belly button is fine for two. Lizard lunge in one, left foot steps to the outside aspect of that left hand. Inhale as your cow, lizard melt the hip. Exhale, cat lizard round to the back. Inhale, return to your lizard lunge. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. This time, head into the right edge of your mat. Let the weight of your head go, release down towards the earth. And start to walk your hands forward, returning to that wide stance in your downward facing dog. Lengthening out the arms as you press the chest down towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Hands walk to return underneath the shoulders. Happy lift to lengthen out. Engage through the core. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you rise to high plank. Circle sweep your arms up as you grow tall. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, warrior two, left side. Left toes can face towards the front of your mat. Bend into that left knee and outstretch your arms long. In just a moment here to check in with the details of your pose. Lengthen tailbone down, knit lower ribs in. Soften the shoulders and extend the arms. Take those little micro adjustments and then settle into breath. Inhale. And Breath in, breath out. Finding sun breath, inhale, straighten out your left leg, palms connect overhead. Exhale, warrior two, bend into that left knee. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two, pausing there. Flip your left palm towards the ceiling, tip it up and back for peace. Gently stretching that left knee forward, really rooting to the outer edge of that right foot. Inhale, exhale, one more inhale breath, exhale, hands down to the mat, bring out your left foot, step it back, downward facing dog, drop the knees, tuck the toes, tuck toe child pose, send the hips back, inhale, shoot it forward, high plank pose, exhale, flow, chaturanga, or straight to upward facing dog, down dog is where we'll meet, send the hip to the sky, big breath in, Full breath out. All right, friends, let's layer on. Inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, lengthen and extend. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, pausing there. Draw your knee to your wrist, to your elbow, to your wrist, to your elbow. One more time to the wrist, to the elbow, pause, maybe pull it up to the armpit. Lizard lunge, right foot steps forward. 
Melt the hips down, lift the gaze up, inhale, cow lizard. Exhale, cat lizard, round it up. Lizard lunge on your inhale, breath. Wide legged forward fold, you know this, pivot to the long edge of the mat, release the head down. Just a round of breath here, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise it up, high flying warrior. Little different this time, exhale, goddess squat, heels in, toes out, sink it low. Option to keep your hands at the space of your heart, or maybe find cactus arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. Sinking a little bit lower, breath in, and breath out. Lengthen tailbone down as you extend the crown of the head, eyes sink a little lower, one more round of breath. Root through your feet as you rise, high flying warrior, straighten out your legs. Warrior two, right side, turn the right toes to face forward, bend into that knee. Arms are outstretched on the horizon, inhale. And exhale. Extended side angle, right forearm to right thigh. Left arm either towards the sky or stretch your bicep by your ear. Lots of different expressions here for a side angle. We'll be here for about five rounds of breath, so find the version that serves you. Maybe your right elbow stays connected. Maybe that right hand comes to the inseam of your right leg. There might be a half or a full bind. Or hold onto an imaginary beach ball overhead. Find the version that serves you and then return to your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Breath in. Breath out. Last inhale here. Stay for your exhale. Straighten out your front leg, peaceful triangle, sweep that right arm up and back, big side body stretch, giving that right thigh a little break. Inhale to find length, exhale to stay. Inhale as your arms return to the horizon, maybe bump that back foot in slightly. Bump the hips back, stretch your right arm forward, right fingertips reach down to your shin or to your block as your left arm stretches towards the sky. Again, lots of variations of triangle pose. Maybe your hand is supported on the shin, Maybe your fingertips are hovering above the mat or your hand comes all the way down to the earth. No right or wrong variation. Find the one that serves you. Inhale. And exhale. Try not to grip those right toes into the mat. Give them a little wiggle. Try not to hyperextend that right knee. Give it a soft muscle bend. You can continue to work here or take this shape on its side into Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Start to shift the lean into that right foot. Gain length in your left leg. And then reach the heart forward, Ardha Chandrasana. Flexing that left foot, rolling left hip open on top of right. Endeavoring to keep that left heel and your hip in the same plane of energy. Right arm might extend up towards the sky. You might gaze down at the earth or maybe lift the gaze towards the ceiling. Option to stay right here or play around with your possum and bending that left leg in half, reaching behind you to catch your arm to the left foot. Rolling the left shoulder open. I like to use a block here underneath our right hand to support. Water bottles are a great option, or maybe you float that right hand up off. Release your foot if you have it, and then everyone will meet in a peaceful warrior. Bend into that right knee, step back with control, inhale, stretch open. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step it back, downward facing dog. Drop the knees to the earth, tuck toe child pose, send the hips back, lengthen arms. Inhale, shoot it forward, high plank pose. Exhale, either turn around, but we're straight to that upward facing dog. Down dog is where we'll meet, hips to the sky. Inhale. And exhale. Second side, inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, knee to tricep, toss it there, draw your knee to the wrist, to the elbow, to the wrist. To the elbow, to the wrist, to the elbow, to the armpit. Pause here for three, two. Lizard lunge in one, left foot steps forward. Melt the hips down, lift the heart up, inhale. Exhale, roll the hips back, soften and stretch. Inhale as you return to lizard lunge. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Pivot all ten toes to long into the mat. Bow the crown of the head towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and let go. Root into your feet as you rise. Inhale, high flying warrior. Exhale, goddess squat, heels and toes out. Hands come to the space of your heart. Sink those hips low. Option to cactus your elbows wide. Open up through the heart space. If those elbows are wide, we're going to tap over to that left side. Sweep the right leg up, right arm. Pardon me. Inhale back. 
and then right elbow taps, couple tight feet side, inhale, exhale, left elbow, inhale, exhale, right elbow. One more each side, left, and right. Inhale, rise up, all the way up, high flying palms connect. Warrior two, left side, bend into that left knee, stretch the arms out long. Breath in, and breath out. From here, it's your extended side angle on the left side, left forearm to left thigh. Right arm might stretch up towards the sky or bicep by your ear. Remember, you have options. Maybe it's a half bind, maybe it's a full bind. Hold on to that imaginary beach ball overhead. Really get into your obliques. Focus in on the foundation of your bones. Try not to grip the toes into the mat. Ideally, that left knee stacking over your left ankle. Inhale. And exhale. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Peaceful triangle is our release. Straighten out that left leg. Sweep your left arm towards the sky. Big side body stretch. Opening through the left side. Inhale. And exhale. Arms return to the horizon. You can bring that back foot in slightly. Bump your hips back. Left arm here forward so it has nowhere else to go. And then your fingertips will release down towards your shins. Maybe hover above the mat if that right arm extends towards the sky. Really working on lifting up and out of that left hip crease. Don't allow yourself to collapse there. Keep your torso in line with that front left leg. Don't let it roll in here. Imagine as if I'm behind you. You can press back into me. Open up through that heart. Lifting that right arm up. Inhale. And exhale. Stay right here or Ardha Chandrasana. Weight into your left foot. Bend into that left knee as you pluck up those right toes. And then float that right leg up. Deflect into that right foot. Left hand might reach down towards the prop or hover above the mat. Option to stay right here or to toss in a sugar cane, bending that right leg in half. Maybe your left hand comes to the space of your heart, rolling right hip open on top of left. Inhale. And exhale. Chapasana's release into half moon. Half moon and triangle. Step back. Peaceful warrior. Inhale, stretch as you open. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Train out that left foot. Downward facing dog. Send the foot back. Drop the knees, tuck the toes, sink the hips back. Inhale, shoot you forward, high plank pose. Exhale, lift your flow, either chaturanga or straight downward facing. Inhale, we'll all meet in that upward facing dog. Pause for a round of breath. Maybe sway the hips a little from side to side, like a little hammock. We would come into our down dog, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. And exhale, child pose. Sink your knees down to the mat and lengthen your arms forward. Take a moment here, grab a sip of water, towel off if you need. And we'll find our way back to that familiar shape of child pose if you're not there. Returning into your breath, melting the forehead and the chest towards the earth. Taking a moment here to observe how you feel. Check in with the emotional body, check in with the physical body. Hmm. Observing if there's any spots in the body drawing your attention. Don't pass any judgment. Just allow yourself to hear them. Tell yourself that you will nurture them and care for them throughout your amazing practice. You're welcome to stay in the child's pose or the offering is to come into a puppy dog pose. Walking your hands forward towards the top corners of your mat and stack your hips over your knee and then melt the chest down. So we're kind of in this modified child's pose, giving a little bit more opening through the heart and through the chest. You might bring your chin down to the mat to get intensified here or maybe the forehead to the earth. Often it's tent onto the fingertips or maybe even bring the pinky edge of the hand to the earth and thumb stays up. Couple rounds of breath here, inhale. And exhale. Two more rounds. Hmm. 
from the turning your palms into the mat. Inhale to rise up to your tabletop pose. Drop the belly, lift the heart, cow pose. Exhale, chin to chest, round through your crown. Return to neutral, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Big round of breath and down dog, inhale. And exhale. Knees come to the mat, tuck toe, child's pose, send the hips back. Inhale forward, high plank pose. Stay right here or join me in three chaturanga push up, knees lower to lift it. Inhale, bring me down. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, lower down, part way, shoulders stay lifted above elbows. Exhale, rise up. Last time, inhale, lower down. Exhale, high plank. Down dog, send the hips to the sky. Inhale, sweep your right leg up, back and high. Exhale, lizard lunge. This time it's a big step forward to Malasana Yogi Squat. Left foot steps to the outside of your left hand. Sink your hips low. Gather the hands to the space of your heart. Lengthen the crown of the head up as the tailbone yearns towards the earth. From here out, stretch your right arm in front of you and then send your left arm towards the sky. Let your gaze fall to those left lifted fingertips. Inhale back through center, prayer hands connect. Other side, left arm out, right arm extends up. One more each side, inhale, reset through center, exhale, stretch and open. Inhale, back through center, exhale, stretch. Inhale, Malasana Yogi Squat. Exhale, hands to the mat, hips to the sky, forward fold. Heel toe your feet in about hip width distance apart. Let's take your right two peace fingers and wrap them around your right big toe. Start to shift the weight into your left side and invite your left hand to your left hip crease. Bending into that right knee, bring that right knee up in towards your chest, hands into a one-legged Tadasana. You have options here, friends. You can keep your toe, your hands connected to your toe. Maybe bring that right hand to support your knee. Or option to extend that right leg forward, heel driving towards the front of your space. Wherever you are, draw that right shoulder back to meet your left. Strong and steady on that standing leg. Inhale. And exhale. Breath in. And breath out. We'll start to open up that knee towards the right side. Maybe open up the sole of the foot. So often to keep that leg extended. Maybe your knee is bent and your hand is towards the inseam of that right leg. Left arm will extend out long on the horizon. Maybe gaze follows towards that left hand. Embracing any wiggles into your standing leg. Knowing that you're a human, it's okay to move. There's no need to pretend you're a statue. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back through center, release your leg, kick that right leg out towards the sky, or towards the sky, yeah, right toes dialed up. Soften your shoulders down your back, hold here for three, for two, and one, right foot meets your left. Shimmy those hips from side to side. Take a moment of release. And step back with your left foot about two feet, setting up for a pyramid pose. If your hips are square in the front of the mat, tailbone is angling down. Bring your hands to your hips for just a moment here. And draw that right hip slightly back, left hip forward. As you inhale, send your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, cactus your elbows wide, baby back bend. Inhale, start to sweep your arms forward like you're reaching out. You just want to hug, prayer hands connect. Gather them up to the sky. Cactus elbows wide, lift your heart. And then big circle of arms forward, palms connect. One more time, inhale, rise up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, sweep it forward, pausing there. And then hands with the hips. Bring the hands down, releasing to bring out that right foot. You might tense out your fingertips here. Find your keep a little micro bend into that right knee. And then pull the heart down over that extended right leg. Your next inhale, invite a little bend into that right knee and halfway lift of the chest. And then step that left foot forward to meet your right and fold and let go. Rise with bent knees, loop the top in a chair pose, sink the hips low, sweep the arms up. Slight tuck of the tailbone, little to no weight in the toes. Draw the belly button up and in. Inhale, stretch your knees to lift towards your fingertips. Exhale, glide your arms back, airplane chair. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, fly. One more time, inhale, sweep. Exhale, fly it back, pausing there. Option to stay right here or come up onto the tippy toes. 
Maybe straighten out the legs and pitch the heart forward, coming into your thigh, your toes, squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. Hand, heels to the mat, arms to the sky. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, fold through center and release. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out. Exhale, plant your palms. Step or pop back high to little plank. Come through your chaturanga or skip it and move right. Do your downward facing dog. Final sequence of standing work as we take that on the other side. Inhale, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, lizard lunge, left leg to the outside aspect of your left hand. As you gaze forward, step forward, Malasana Yogi Squat. Sink those hips low, hands to the space of your heart. Using your elbows to gently guide your knees open. Now stretch your right arm in front of you, sweep that left arm towards the sky, open up. Hands return to heart center, reset. Left hand out, right arm lifts, inhale. Come back through center, exhale. One more each side, inhale, open up. Exhale, bring it back in. Last time, inhale, open. Exhale, gather. Hands to the earth, hips to the sky, forward fold. Heel toe your feet in towards the touch. Inhale, lift the legs in and a halfway lift. Exhale as your fold, let it go. This time your left two piece fingers wrap around your left big toe. Right hand comes in towards your right hip crease, bend into your right knee, and then start to draw your left knee up and in. One leg is Tadasana. Now for your options here, friends, you can stay right like this. Maybe you bring that left hand to hold onto your kneecap, or option to extend that left foot forward and lengthen through the leg. Draw your left shoulder back to meet the right. Strong and steady through that right standing leg. Inhale. And exhale. Start to draw that left hip open. You're drawing the left knee or the left sole of the foot towards the left side. Maybe outstretch your right arm and allow your gaze to fall. Breath in. And breath out. Oh, I'm wobbly today. Inhale. And exhale. Draw that left leg back through center. Kick it out long if it's not already. Extend your arms up. Soften your shoulders down your back. Put a smile on your face. Three, here for three. For two. And one. Release your left foot down. Hands down by your side. Bend and shake out through the hips. Bend the knees. And this time it's a big step back with your left foot. Right? Yeah, left foot. So... No, it's a big step back with your right foot. Your left foot is leading. Coming into our triangle pose on the other side. So this time your right hip is shining slightly forward. Left hip is drawing back. Think about your feet more as if they're on railroad tracks rather than a tight rope. So there's space for the hips to orient forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, cactus elbows low. Inhale, outstretch your arms like you're reaching out to give a hug. And exhale, send those right hands high. Open up, cactus yoga. Sweep it forward, reach the palms to touch. Last time, rise it up. Cactus open, expand. Inhale, brings you forward, pausing there, outstretching fingertips. And then soften your hands, bring out your front foot, and let the weight of the head go. Inhale. And exhale. Two more rounds of breath in here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Next inhale, slide that into that left knee. Halfway lift with the chest. Right foot steps to meet your left. Forward fold at the top of your seat. Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees. Rise the arms. Sink the hips down. Soften your shoulders down your back. Back, nifty inner ribs, lower ribs in towards one another. Inhale, lift your gaze. Exhale, glide your arms back. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, brings you back. Airplane chair, maybe lift the heels up. Option again to straighten out your legs and pitch your heart forward, coming into that diagonal pose. Inhale. Heels to the mat, arms to the sky, tall mountain pose, stretches you up. Exhale, fold through center, hands through heart. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop back, either chaturanga or skip it and go directly to your 
downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale, rise the hips. Awesome work, yogi. Let's start to slow it down. Inhale, stretch your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee to your right wrist. Invite that ankle over towards the left side of your space and then slide that left leg out long. Top of that left foot is pressing into the mat. You might bring a block or a blanket underneath that right hip for support. Depending on the openness of your hips, your foot could be back towards that left hip crease if you're like me. Or maybe you start to walk that right foot forward and bring a parallel edge of that right shin to the top of your mat. Find a version that serves you. Open up to the heart for Cow Pigeon and then slowly melt down. Releasing and surrendering towards the earth. Couple rounds of breath here to soften and let go. Return to your breath. Draw your attention back into that dedication or your intention for practice. If the mind begins to wander, gently coax it back to the physical space of your mat by taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, start to rise back up onto the fingertips and roll over onto that right side. Swing your left leg around. We're going to set up for a double pigeon pose. So for double pigeon, that right shin is going to be parallel with the top of your mat. Deep flex into that right foot and then you swing that left heel on top of your right knee. So if you're like me, there might be a big gap between your ankle and your knee. That is totally okay. You can seal up that gap with a block or a blanket or a pillow. Or you can just hang out right here. There's a deep flex into both of my feet, helping to protect the knee joint. You can stay upright or maybe start to walk the fingertips forward and release down. It's a big hip opener, right? Maybe there's a little bit of uncomfortable, discomfort, a little unease. And that's okay. We grow from these spaces of uncomfortable to being uncomfortable. If you allow yourself to breathe through it, you might find a little bit more opening in that hip. Three more rounds of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe stretch your fingertips a little further forward. you reclined over, start to walk your hands back. And we'll meet in this upright position. Swing that left knee off of the right. Soles of the feet come to the earth and simply windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Just kind of letting go there, releasing, sensing those fingertips back behind you. Mm -hmm. Pausing through center, cross your ankle, press your palms into the mat. You might hop back through chaturanga or step back directly into your downward facing dog. Option to take a flow or go right into that second side. This time the left leg will rise on your inhale breath. As you exhale, it's a half pigeon on the left. Left knee to your left wrist, ankle towards the right side of your space. Right leg is lengthening long back behind you. You can support yourself with the props as you need. Maybe stay lifted upright for a couple rounds of breath. And when you're ready to surrender and soften, come down to the elbows or release all the way down. As we come into these longer, deeper holds, let's check in. Observe how the body is feeling as you start to slow down. Observe how the breath is moving. Observe the emotional and physical state that you're currently in. Sometimes the most beneficial thing we can do for ourselves is just listen. Listen to the feedback, listen to the wisdom of the body. Listen to the sound of your breath. As we can discern a lot from the way that the physical body is feeling. Take three more big deep breaths here. On your next inhale, start to rise. 
eyes back up into that proud pigeon. This time roll over onto the left side and swing your right leg around. Bring that left shin parallel with the front of your mat. Draw that right ankle to cross on top of your left knee. Hand deep flex into both of your feet. Option to seal up that gap between your knee and your ankle. Or maybe you just allow it to be there and start to walk the hands forward. You might notice the difference in the openness on your hips from side to side. I surely do. It's a big difference here. This right side feels a lot more open to me. Maybe you start to melt the chest a little closer towards the mat, extending the fingertips out. You might choose to linger here a little bit longer if you notice that you might need a little more time on this side. If you are dying to get out of this pose or just ready to leave it, bring your hands behind you and then bend the feet and ankle from the knee gently sway from side to side, finding that little counter stretch once again. Pause through center, all ten toes are diagonally forward, hands are back behind you, fingertips facing in. We'll take the reverse altar pose or reverse tabletop as you press into your feet as you inhale, start to rise the hips up and then lengthen the head back. Gaze is up towards the ceiling. Breath in and breath out. Return your feet to the earth. Sit up nice and tall and start to extend your feet forward, boat pose, Navasana. Arms are out long, stretch towards your toes, or maybe hands come behind your knees for support. Draw the belly up and in, lengthen through the collarbone, stay bright and lifted through the chest. From here, we'll take a 10 count to the mat for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Gently set yourself all the way to the mat in one. Stretch your arms long overhead, full body stretch. Find length from your tippy toes all the way to your extended fingertips. Big inhale. And exhale. Arms come back down by your side. Bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet to the earth. Setting up for a bridge pose. All ten toes are pointing forward. Feet are about hip width distance apart. On your next inhale breath, start to peel your hips up. Pressing into the feet, soften through the glutes. Really use the strength of your spine to keep you lifted and the strength of your legs. You might stay right here if you'd like a little bit more. Walk your shoulders underneath the back, clasp the fingertips together, and then press the forearms into the mat. Gaze is about down at the navel, protecting the neck. Lengthening through the back of the spine, the top of the spine, and the back of the head. One more round of breath. If you have that grip of your hands, release, and then slowly set the same arm to return to the mat. Just a round of breath here, rooted to neutralize a big inhale. And full exhale. One more round of bridge, or maybe it's a full meal if that's in your practice. I'm going to choose to demo one more round of bridge, but feel free to do what you need. With your next inhale breath, start to peel the hips up one more time. Maybe you walk the shoulders once again and clasp the hands, or maybe you press the palms into the sacrum and support yourself here in a bridge pose, finding a little bit more lift. The palms are shining in towards the sea. Keeping the inner thighs activated, drawing them in energetically towards one another. Two more rounds of breath wherever you are. Inhale. Wheels coming down with care to the crown of the head. Bridges and wheels now slowly roll all the way down, returning the sacrum to the earth. When you arrive with the spine rooted into the mat, gather your knees in towards your chest. Find some gentle movement here, rock a little from side to side. Massaging off the sacrum. Keep your right knee hugging in and start to lengthen that left leg out. Drawing your right knee up and around the torso towards the armpit. Inhale. 
And as you exhale, slowly roll onto that left hip and then draw your right knee across your body. Right hand might extend out long, really endeavoring to keep the shoulders rooted into the earth. A close eye gaze might fall over your right extended arms, twisting into the cervical spine. Breathe now as you toss the body, letting go. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly rock back onto the sacrum. Gather that right knee back into the chest. Invite the left knee to meet it. Give yourself a little squeeze as a reset through the spine. Left knee stays heavy and right leg reaches long. Inhale. Exhale, roll onto your right hip. Sweep that left leg across the body. You maybe extend your left arm out and allow your closed leg knees to follow over that left extended arm. Inhale. And exhale. It's okay if that left knee doesn't press all the way down to the earth. Our priority here is keeping those shoulders rooted and grounded to the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Next inhale draws you back through center, inviting your knees in towards your chest one more time. Giving yourself a little squeeze or taking a happy baby pose. Reach up and grab for the outer edges of the feet or the inner edges, whatever feels more accessible. Draw the knees down towards the earth, like the tailbone towards the mat. And maybe gently rock from side to side. Being playful in your happy baby, maybe you straighten out one leg. Maybe you straighten out the other. This is a perfect starting point to finish out your practice however you need. These next couple rounds of breath, feel free to take whatever you need before Shavasana. Maybe it's a plow pose, lengthen your legs overhead to draw the belly in and see anything down at the navel. Maybe it's a shoulder stand, hands at the base of the spine, legs lifted up long. If there's another inversion that you're working on that you'd like to finish your practice with maybe a headstand, Feel free to go there. Sukta Bhattakonasana for something more restorative. Fold the feet to touch knees out loud. Hand to the heart, bring them to the belly. Take five or so more rounds of breath. Finishing out your practice. Completing it in a way that you feel honors what your body needs. Over the next few rounds of breath, start to make your way into your final resting pose, your final shavasana. Lengthen your legs out long. Let your toes play to the edges of your space. Hands can come down by your sides, palms shedding up or down, or maybe you'd like a hand to your heart and a hand to your belly. If it's comfortable for you, allow your eyes to drift to close. Really taking these last couple moments of class to draw all of your energy back in. Letting all of that beautiful movement that you just created, all that light, that energy, settle back into your physical body. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, release. Settling into stillness. Letting the breath return to mind. Please stay in your Shavasana for as long as you need. If you have the time to stay reclined on your back for an extra couple of moments, enjoy the stillness, the peace, and the quiet. If you're ready to move on and transition back into your day, gentle movement returns to the fingers and to the toes. As your breath starts to deepen, allow your movement to grow. Circle out the wrists, the ankles. Sway the head gently from side to side. Open and close your jaw, wiggle out through the eyebrows. And 
extend your arms long overhead, kind of do a full body good morning stretch. Lengthen your toes, right there, just to the toes. And eventually finding your way onto whichever side is calling to you, pausing for a moment when you arrive there. Letting your head rest into your bicep or to your hands. Coming into this fetal position, the spacing of the nibs. Taking a moment to just observe how you feel post-factum. Maybe there's more of a sense of peace in your heart. Maybe you feel a little bit more connected, a little less alone. Whatever it is, whatever positive thing that you can feel right now in this moment, I invite you to hold on to that for the remainder of your day. Challenging yourself to keep your eyes closed, use the support of your hands to guide yourself up to a comfortable seat. When you arrive there, sit up nice and tall, slight tuck of the chin down into the space of your heart. Inhale to stretch your arms up to the sky. As you exhale, cactus your elbows wide, press the heart space for you. As you inhale, sweep your arms out in front of you like you're reaching out to give a big hug. And as you exhale, hands come into the space of your heart, prayer position. Big round of breath, inhale. Exhale, release. The light, the love, the joy within me recognizes and admires the light, the love, and the joy within each and every one of you. From my heart to your heart, namaste, my friend. Thank you so much for practicing with me, yogis. I hope this video finds